Кривов, на Украине, в Транснистрии, в Беларуси, в Молдове. Но среди нас есть люди, которые были то, что мы называли когда-то Восточной Европой, Венгрия. Ихуда из Венгрии. Ихуда не сидел в концентрационном лагере. Ихуда оказался в стране, где, которая воевала на стороне Германии. И депортация в этой стране не началась до 1944 года. Евреи жили в подвалах, в бейсментах, там, где их застала война, потому что из домов они были изгнаны. Все свое детство Ихуда провел в подвале, и он выжил. И вот туфельки, про которые сейчас говорила Леночка, это памятник знаменитый «Shoes of Budapest». Если вы посмотрите в гугле, вы увидите этот страшный памятник потому что евреев подводили к реке, расстреливали, и они падали в воду, в Дунай, и кровь их текла, а ботиночки оставались на берегу. Ехуда был свидетелем этого. I am one of the lucky person who survived the Holocaust. I am one of the person whose mother gave his wedding ring for a piece of ham to feed his starving children. I am the one who's here 73 years later tell the story what I tell all the time. The Holocaust. The Holocaust was nine months in Budapest. But nine months every day was a misery. I go to sleep with it. I get up with it. And I think that will follow me all the way in my life. Thank to my family who gave me support and thank to the Israeli Defense Forces when I was to, to give me a courage and to be somebody, not just a Jew who was afraid of their killing him. And then thank to the Hatzol Emergency Squad, what I am a member, to every day till today I can go to help people and save lives. In 1944, March 19, the German walked into Budapest. It was a parade, tanks, soldiers, flags, and they welcomed in Budapest. And I was standing in the street and looking, enjoying it. But behind me was a poster. And the poster was one thing. They said, Jews have to wear the yellow star from seven years and on. That was two days before my birthday. I was proud of it. My other brothers don't have to. I am a big guy. Bye. So, but I didn't know what I have to pay for this privilege. Budapest, they didn't have concentration camp. They didn't have pits to uh, the Jews to dig for, for their grave. They had the mighty river, the Duna. And they didn't have to do anything. Days and days for me. And the Jews had to live in a house that has the yellow star. Each house was marked with a yellow star when Jews living, so they know where they come from. And they came. They went to houses to houses. They got children, people, everybody. They take them out in the street. They have to, have to put up their hand and walk 
toward the river. What people who cannot walk, they took a broomstick. They made them sit in a broomstick and one side, one guy holding the broomstick and another hand is on the air. If they dropped or they don't make it, they shot them in place. They took them to the river. Sometimes they, they has to has, they took them to the river. I saw them in my window, hundreds of them, their hands up in the air, walking toward the river. And what they did to the river? They tell them to undress. Took five people, wired them with a wire, they tied their hand, wired them with a wire, five people, and shot one to the river. And that's who pulled another four down. The Hungarian Nazis, the Arrow Cross, played games with their victims. They staggered them, made them, made them selected pregnant woman and tell him to stand the, he, he, the side of the river and shot him in the stomach. No matter what, the order was to kill more in Jews. Jews. We was in the house, we was in the building and saw it every day they come, waiting when on our turn come. And then my mother, the Pius member near me, Piroshka Lindenblad, she told me, you go, pray. And to the pray, the praise what the Jews have, the highest for calling for mercy, Ovinu Malkenu. I went and prayed. Oh Lord. I finished the prayer. The Nazis stopped. The Hungarian Aerocross stopped. Didn't take anybody else. That was the place where we are. We're lucky we went to escape from there, we went to other places. A story, every day have a story. Hunger. I was so hungry. It's impossible to explain to people who does for, that doesn't experience hunger. My next door neighbor, my cousin, had a piece of soap. As a child, I was yelling, I wanna eat the soap. Hunger is terrible. Potato pills, some beans, some water. But we survived. I wanna point out the heroes of Hungary, who they went to save Jews. It was one of my, my Grandfather Shmaya Plaja. He was a very pious man. He was a very known rabbi in Budapest. S shaved off his beard, dressed like a farmer, and went to street in Budapest to save Jews. We giving out paper for forged paper. They are Swiss, Swiss uh, protected people. And one day, Hanukkah time, he tells his wife, Regina, I'll be back tonight. Went out to the street. They catch him. Ask him for paper. He's a good Hungarian, show him the paper. He's in the old Christian family. He just come from the farm to, to sell his product. They believe him and let him go. And that moment, one of the guy, one of the Nazis said, hey, stop. He stopped. He said, drop your pens. He dropped his pen. In Hungary, only the Jews are circumcised. People saw him to take him to the river. My grandfather was a very short man, but was a giant to me. It was an order for the German. Every woman, me 16 and out to 50, have to report the train station. We lived next to the train station and I saw through the window, woman walking to the train, 
with a speckler and just like a sheep. And my mother was to go also. She was uh, taking a jacket, a uh, winter coat, and put it, tried to put some money in that. And then they looked at her children and said, I'm not going without my children. And thanks to my mother, we are saved. She didn't win. The thing get worse for the German. The thing get worse for the German. And they get to try, try to get away. They cannot took the Jews anymore to the river. So I went, after the war, I went in a park. The killing was continued. They had to kill Jews. And you men don't believe why. I went to a park. I, I square. That was all over. Russian soldier, Hungarian soldier, all around. Soldiers and people. And in a corner, a lot of bodies with a yellow star. They had, they didn't die for bombing, they didn't die for anything. They all were shot. Today, anti-Semitism in Hungary, one is the worst. One is the worst in Europe. They marching with uniform. They marching in uniform and again the death to the Jews. Today, people who are not Jews, also, the Holocaust not ended. They're chopping people's head off because they're religion. But I, believe it's more good people and bad some righteous christians who help us who give us food and he, they tell the mother we will save your children leave it with us but my mother didn't do that ladies and gentlemen thank you for the committee to let me speak and thank you all to listen to me